Good morning. I don't know if you realize this, but the world we're living in seems like it's kind of batshit crazy. And I don't mean batshit crazy like me. I mean, you have all these gods in the flesh that are running around acting like mere mortals. It's like they've forgotten who they are. I want to chat with you about that today. So you see, here we are, and the world seems like it's set ablaze. My God, there's nothing I want to do more than set this world ablaze. Just really allowing the world to be ultra consumed with ah, the truth of their own nature. One of the most simple yet profound, I, I often find deep things are very simple. As a matter of fact, they're, they're far too often far too simple. The deep revelatory things are far too simple. For the mind but uh, one of those deep simple things that I've discovered over the last uh, many years of my life have been what you believe you're gonna fucking manifest but there's literally many 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 different layers of your belief there's what you believe on the surface this is what most people are aware of it's just kind of there in the surface of your mind and this is what I think oh yeah I believe this like oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's the color blue I believe that's blue and then there is deep-rooted beliefs like religious beliefs or things that you learned as fact in school or your parents taught you and then you go deeper than that there's cellular belief the cells that make up this energetic suit that you're wearing are full of information. Some of that information is actually killing off the cells or causing the cells to age, to die, to forget their purpose. And so if we're going to really unlock the full potential of the human race. If you really want to unlock the full potential of your avatar, what does it mean to be an avatar? What an avatar actually is, is deity in the flesh. Word made flesh. That's what an avatar is. So when you hear me talking about activating or awakening the avatar, I'm talking about waking your whole being up to your truest potential, to your truest self. You are divine manifestation. What you are experiencing here on the earth is a divine manifestation. It's not your truest form because there is no such thing as a truest form. It's not your truest self because your truest self is this autonomous uh, awareness. But what you are experiencing and manifesting within this energetic suit we call a body and mind is absolutely beautiful and powerful and i walk around this is a real head scratcher to me it's like man people have forgotten what they are and we've become this person this very limited expression like this is just what i am people say this is just who i am this is just how it works you're gonna die I talk to people all the time about immortality i've been teaching on immortality for and studying and researching and looking into it and age reversal and immortality and things like that for many, 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 many years. Not only from a health perspective, uh, but also just from a purely scientific perspective. I'm no scientist, <laughs> classify, but from a purely scientific perspective. And uh, I've read a lot of books and I've done a lot of research and I've just had a lot of uh, experiments with my own body, my own mind. But, uh, and we are capable, this body is capable of literally anything. If you can believe it, you can see it, you can achieve it. But that belief has to trickle all the way down to the many different layers of beliefs. Maybe I'll talk about those various layers of belief in your body, in your mind. But that trickle all the way down to that subatomic or uh, uh, that subatomic level. Get all the way into the nucleus of the atom 
and begin their shifting and changing the core beliefs. And in future videos, and I actually will have courses coming up where I talk about, where I go into detail and depth about how we do this. But for right now, I just simply want to call your attention to your truest self. You are an avatar. In other words, what you have believed that you are is actually God in the flesh. It's deity. And when, so when you can shake the identity as I am just this, this aging temporal body and mind and slip over into I am divine, eternal being, manifesting in this very impermanent world. Impermanence doesn't mean temporal. Impermanence just means that things are continually changing. So when you recognize that your body is very impermanent, but it can be eternal, now you slip from a death mentality or perspective into an eternal thought perspective and your beliefs begin to shift, at least on a surface level, and it can uh, slowly sink deeper, deeper, deeper into that subatomic level and ultimately into a place of age reversal, immortality, life, uh, superhuman feats, uh, all kinds of things can, can happen at that level. So I love you. Check out, uh, check out future video. Check out the next video. I believe it's on uh, some pretty awesome shit. So uh, I love you guys so much. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you fucking play, man. I'll talk to you soon.